Hi everybody, my name is Ellen Wycorn and I'm Watford Palace Theatre's senior producer and today I'm going to be answering the questions you left me on the Ask a Producer post. What made you decide to transition from acting to producing and how did you first get into producing? I uh, found myself moving to Cornwall, um, which I'm originally from, uh, and there is not that big a theatre scene there is a great local scene there so I got together with some other professionals that I knew locally and we made our own work and we toured it around Cornwall and everything possible went wrong like everything we had to ditch the set because the van broke down we lost some of our cast halfway through and had to rehearse in a gazebo in my dad's garden I was gonna make that show get to the end and I essentially stepped into that role of producer doing that and then as things went on I just found that that was that was where I naturally fitted more um and actually I think it's an indication of how so many of us go into acting because that's where everybody goes who wants to get into theatre but really I think I was probably always destined to go into producing. What's the most enjoyable aspect of the job at the palace specifically and it is hands down the people who I am missing incredibly at the moment um they're like a family and that's a really important thing and then the creators we get to work with uh, backstage, on stage, um, magnificent and fun. And then local artists as well. And I've always sort of been a bit of a localist in the work that I do. So you become part of that community. And in Watford, it's, it's exactly the same. There's some amazing talent. And it was joyous to find out that there's so many creative, brilliant people who are working in our front of house team um, to start engaging with and talking about work and going to local networking stuff is really important. So hands down people make the palace what's your favorite people that you work with actually it's sort of all of them everybody's that's the joy of of making stuff as a team and the joy of being a producer is you sit like in the middle of this and you just try and sort out problems and put people together and a lot of the time you're doing what all you're doing is bringing people together in a room to talk about problem and that group discussion making something even more than it was as, as the sum of its parts before is is a, an amazing thing to do is it necessary to go to uni to get into producing so i went to a drama school and i trained as an actor i have never ever trained in producing I think it could help because it gives you the fundamentals, you know, stuff like structuring a budget properly. If you can start off knowing that and the fact that, you know, negotiating with an, an agent is a two way street. And actually the relationship is probably more important than that, that, that one negotiation, all of that stuff. Yeah, great to be taught that. But there's something about um, having to learn on your feet um, for being a producer and being able to solve problems as you go. Be able to say when you don't know something, don't be afraid to ask. Um, that's a really important skill to have because there is always going to be somebody that knows more about the specific circumstance your production is currently in than you do and there's nothing ever wrong with asking for help. Uni-wise or course-wise I don't know at the moment my knowledge will be um, slightly out of date but I know um, a lot of the drama schools have begun to make a move to having producing courses. I would say to any creative if you can learn how to produce your own work find out, find that information, because that gap in, in your knowledge of how you take an idea uh, through to fruition um, will stop you from making the best work you possibly can, because the more you understand the process, where your break-even point is, how much your tickets are going to cost, how much it's going to cost to bring a creative like a designer in, and what that means to the production, how it changes it, the more you have those bits of knowledge and you start to understand those processes, the better it is for you anyway in general, um, I think. But I still have gaps in my knowledge and I'm trying to fill them all, all the time. Because, um, uh, yeah, it, every little helps, every bit of knowledge helps, so it's always a good thing. Does the cow pass the vet belt test? So that's, if you've seen the picture of me of Panto Cow back in my acting days, I was the front. I don't know whether it does. Uh, firstly, yes, there were um, more than two women in, in the Panto that we were in. However, the cow was not a speaking role, and I know that speaking about something other than a man is a key part of that test and therefore possibly the cow does not pass the test but thank you for asking that i hope this has been informative and fun and gives you a bit of insight into what i do if you'd like to know anything else i am all ears you can contact us 
um, on share at watfordpalacetheatre.co.uk or put it in the post in, in a comment below this post and I will get back to you. Have a lovely day and a lovely week. Uh, stay safe, stay at home um, and let's hope I'll see you in an auditorium sometime soon. Bye.